Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Written Art Studios Comics, and this is my review show where I talk about the comics I've read, Kickstarters I've backed, and where you can also back them. So, first up on the list is Starlight. Starlight is by let's see here. Starlight is by Travis Webb, Greg Smith, Brett. Well, Dell, and uh, it is about. Uh, well, it starts off. Ooh, I am unprepared. Okay, anyway, it starts off about uh, a YouTuber, and he's doing some investigative reporting, talking about uh, these two superhero kids and uh, where are they now, kind of thing. And so, um, it's been ten years since anybody's heard from them. And uh, this reporter is going to go to the house of two people that he think are the uh, heroes. Um, the Ultra Kids is what they're called. And this is kind of mature content. There is some language that is for adults in it, not for kids. And uh, it's some pretty cool, pretty interesting artwork. And uh, basically, there's this girl, Sarah. She's always high. And... Uh, and this boy, Chris, who's her brother, and he's the responsible one. Um, not really sure what their powers are yet. Um, so far, the story starts out with uh, some aliens arriving. And those aliens uh, end up taking the mom. I don't know where the dad is. And so they decide they are going to go and rescue their mother from these aliens. So Starlight, number one. It was a pretty good read. Uh, I recommend you go and find it. And... Uh, Right now, Starlight 2 is on Kickstarter, so I'm sure you can get 1 and 2 together as a bundle pack. And uh, it is pretty cool stuff, so I can't wait to read the uh, next issue. I'm already a backer on issue 2. And that's pretty cool stuff. Let me see here. Gary, nope, I am not on the thank you page. Gary Phillips and Gary Garingo, nope, I didn't make it to the thank you page. But, uh, no worries. I did back it, though. That's how I got this comic. So, it came from Kickstarter. And, shoot. Maybe I'm under R. That's Rentnarb. Oh, yep. There I am, Rentnarb Studios. So, I, I'm on there without the Gary Brandner of Rentnarb Studios. Must not have been enough letters or something allowed. or I don't know. Usually I back things as Gary Brantner of Rentnarb Studios Comics, but either way, I'm in there on the thank you pages, Rentnarb Studios. Get Starlight right now on Kickstarter, issue two. Um, I'm sure there's a bundle for issue two and one. So there, that's the Starlight. Very cool read. I love the art style. Um, it's kind of an, a simple, sketchy kind of look to it. It reminds me of um, Shapes that I'm reading from Jason Brubaker. So it is it's a very cool art style. And ne up next is a comic called She. She is another one I got from Kickstarter. It is got a special uh, die cut cover. I've been seeing a lot of people do this on the social medias. It has got a die cut cover. It also has a foil cover. That's pretty cool. And then you see the girl underneath it. So basically, that's supposed to be her helmet. And she's got a skull painted on the glass. That's what she looks like underneath the helmet. Pretty cool stuff. Um, it is hardback and a little bit bigger than your standard comic book. As you can see there, right there. So she is written by Ryan K. Lindsay and drawn by Chris Panda Mercier. And it's also lettered by Chris Panda Mercier. Mercier? Mercier? I don't, uh, sorry. I'm really flubbing up that name. Um, but basically she is about uh, a, an alien named she. And she is kind of a bounty hunter and she's hired to uh, find this alien or actually a bunch of aliens that uh, kind of are like the cloud uh, apparently you can tap into these guys' memories 
They hold all the memories of every anything that was uh, captured on video or uh, documented is in their memory. And uh, so the whole universe wants them because then everybody knows everything if they're in control of these uh, aliens that are like the cloud. And uh, so she makes it her purpose to find these aliens before anybody else can because she has a daughter and she doesn't know where the daughter is and she doesn't want anybody else to know where that daughter is either so she makes it her goal to find these aliens before anybody can do anything about that let me see if I can find some awesome artwork to show you so yeah let's see here oh yeah there's some cool looking artwork for you so she right now I got it from Kickstarter but you can get yourself a copy on Indiegogo right now um, so I recommend going out and finding that. Uh, this is from Comics Tribe also. Um, sorry about the spoilers, but uh, I didn't know any other way to talk about this and keep the spoilers free. Anyway, um, so that's She on Indiegogo right now. Check out She, back it, um, get yourself a copy of it. You will not be sorry. It's an awesome book. It is a very cool one to keep add to your collection too because of the hardback and the die cut. Makes it unique. Not a lot of people out there doing stuff like that. Which, uh, from what I hear on the podcasts where they've interviewed uh, these creators behind this one, that uh, that's what they were setting out to do. So that's what they did. All right. And what else have I read this recently? Uh, I just read recently went back through my collection and reread the Black Panther one through six. Um, as you are well aware, I'm sure, uh, that Chadwick Boseman recently died, and uh, so uh, the, the Black Panther movies meant a lot to me. Uh, I thought they were very well done, had a great message, and uh, Chadwick Boseman was an amazing actor. He did a, a fantastic job. There's no way I could picture anybody playing the Black Panther. Um, besides Chadwick, Bo Chadwick Boseman, and uh, he was the same age as me. It's insane to think that it, it doesn't matter uh, how old you are, you can be gone at any minute, so I decided to take this week to read uh, Black Panther 1 through 6 from my collection, and uh, some good stuff. Um, Black Panther is this Black Panther is written by um, Reginald Hudlin, written by John Romita Jr., inked by Klaus Janssen, and colored by Dean White. And these different issues are le also lettered by Chris Elipios, Elipi, uh, Eliopos, I don't know how to pronounce that, Eliopalos. And uh, VCs Randy Gentile. Sorry, really not good at pronunciation on these. And uh, but I want to give a shout out to the letters. Everybody that worked on these Black Panther books uh, did an amazing job. Let me see here. If I can show you a page without ads in it. So yeah, Black Panther. John Romita Jr. is my favorite artist, and so uh, about 90% maybe 80% of my collection is John Romita Jr. in my books and boxes here and so yeah it's very good stuff um, you even see a little battle between Black Panther and Captain America they, the whole story is basically a, kind of a introductory get you re-familiar with the uh, Black Panther and uh, in this storyline it starts out with a bunch of different um, cultures trying to invade Wakanda and uh, you even see the Captain America throwing his hand in at uh, invading Wakanda. Let me see here. I had it on there. Yeah, there's Captain America right there by J.R. Jr. and uh, so we're introduced to the claw and uh, 
he uh, in this storyline he assassinated the Black Panther before T'Chaka T'Challa um, and uh, so he's coming back to uh, finish off the Black Panther and uh, so he killed his father and now he, he's coming back to kill him and he's got a team with him that is uh, includes the uh, Batroc the Leaper the Rhino the Radioactive Men and someone who wasn't named in the story but I think it's the Shadow King it's a character that can uh, pass his consciousness on into anybody he touches and so I think that's why I think it's the Shadow King but it doesn't really say and uh, but it was it was an awesome storyline they're in they invade uh, Wakanda but they hold them back and uh, the radioactive man was inside the mound um, trying to get rid of their vibranium supply all sorts of good stuff so that's what I've read this week uh, the Black Panther 1 through 6 Starlight 1 and she won so go out find yourself these this Black Panther was from 2005, so um, it's not new. You could, I'm sure you can find it in the back issues, maybe even by the trade. Uh, this was before I started buying the trades myself, so most of my collection is single issues, but maybe I'll get the trade and uh, sell off the singles. Who knows? I do not have any mail to uh, highlight today. No mail this week for comic book related stuff but here are the uh, here are the kickstarters oh, shoot. now we're on to uh, kickstarters campaigns that you should know about kickstarter comics are the best my favorite reads right now so a lot of the kickstarters I was back and closed yesterday on September 3rd that was uh, let's see Miskatonic High closed and uh, for goodness sake and half past Christmas. Wait, is that what it? Yeah, half past danger, the Christmas special. They all closed on September third. So now, what is still going right now, as you, as you know, I've talked about already. Starlight two is uh, going till September twenty fourth. So I'm glad I was able to read that, let you know about Starlight two. And uh, Vatita Awakening is on Indiegogo right now. Check that one out. Uh, I'm not sure when it ends because uh, I don't know. I'm not really familiar with Indiegogo. I've only backed about six or so things on it and I've ran two Indiegogo campaigns and so I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of Indiegogo. It doesn't seem to work out for me. It's hard to keep track of. I don't get notified when cool things are on Indiegogo. And she! She is on Indiegogo right now. You could get this exact copy on Indiegogo. Go check that one out. Another one I just recently backed, I think I backed it uh, yesterday, was Woodland Creatures. It goes till the 24th. Woodland Creatures number two is on kick in Kickstarter right now. And uh, kick Woodland Creatures number one was an awesome read. Um, Let's see, I think I... Nope, I can't pinpoint it right now. Somewhere on this wall is a uh, Woodland Creatures print that I got from the last Kickstarter. But either way, it's an awesome read. It's a uh, black and white, not colored, not great toned either. Um, but it is an awesome story to read about two uh, characters who uh, can live vicariously through wolves. They're not werewolves, like that they turn into wolves, but they can go into the wolf and uh, run around in the woods and stuff. Anyway, this is about different uh, two different people. One is a, a new newling to uh, being able to inhabit the wolf and one is a war veteran who has come home from after and is trying to teach her how to how to be one of them. So it's a cool storyline. I don't know if it's a romance or whatever. I think it's been it's from an author who does romance books. But other than that, Woodland Creatures is on Kickstarter right now. Check it out. If you want me to talk about your Kickstarter, hit me up on the social medias and say, uh, 
hey, uh, would you like to mention my Kickstarter on your thing? I'll check it out. If you have something for me to read, then that would be a bit easier for me to talk about it. And uh, if you want me to read your comic, period, uh, shoot me a link to the store. I'll check it out or send me a way to get a free copy of it and I'll check it out that way. What am I reading right now? Uh, my read pile is pretty big. I've got a lot of Kickstarter comics coming up in my read pile and I'm filtering in old stuff that I already own into my read pile. So I'm going to review stuff I've already read from years ago like this Black Panther from 2005. And uh, I'm currently reading one called The Swing, or I think it's just Swing. It's from Image Comics, and uh, yeah, so I'm reading that one right now. Uh, I think I got that one from social media. So thank you for watching my show. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, get back into my drawing soon. It's been a long time since I've drawn worked on my comic book, but that's how it is sometimes. Uh, it's been a little hard with uh, summer and all the kids home, but now the school started again. Maybe I'll be able to get back to in, back into that, all that fun stuff. So, uh, again, sorry for the ramble, but thank you for watching Rent Art Studios Comics. And uh, if you have something for me to read or suggestions that I should read, I will check it out. Look for it at my comic shop or look for it online. And goodbye.